The fillet command has an option called blend corner and it's a really valuable tool to have when you have corners like in this case that are pretty complicated coming together and where the order of picking elements really can dramatically change the way the corners look and you're having trouble just getting them to look right. So let's take a look at that blend corner option now. Let's move this off and let's come over here select the fillet command. Now here's the blend corner option here but let's take and uh, do some filleting first. This uh, fillet is supposed to be a 5 millimeter fillet, so I'll key in 5. And then I'm going to start picking elements. Let's pick 1, and let's come up the wall. 2, 3, and then we'll pick this element here. It's 4, and let's just say OK for now. And uh-oh, we've already got some kind of a ribbon problem here. Look at there. It's having some problems there. We'll just ignore that for now. And let's change that fillet color to blue so we can see it pretty well. Wow, that's a funky looking corner. Let's let's add some things on the other side. We'll double click the fillet and let's add the edges. But this time we'll go from the top down instead of the bottom up. There we go. And we'll say OK. And oh wow, now we have two situations where it's not really the best at all. So could we make this side at least look like the other side? Well, let's try it. Let's double click it. And let's turn these off and turn them back on. But when we turn them on, let's turn them on in the same order we did the other from the bottom up. There we go. And let's say OK. Well, there we go. At least we just have, you know, one set of problems. And I don't know why those problems aren't the same over here because it's identical. But we'll say close because now we're going to take a look at this and say, wow, maybe we could use this blend corner option to kind of change the way that looks. So let's double click the fillet yet again. And here's the blend corner option. When you put your mouse in here and, and select it, it changes the focus there. Now it's waiting for you to pick one of the corners. Now we only have two corners here, one here and one here. These are not corners, those are ends. Here's corners where multiple edges come together. When I pick just one of them, you see both of them appear here. And what is this 10 here? Well, that's the setback distance. Let's change it to 20. That's what they ask for your exercise. And we'll say OK. Or we'll do a preview. And the preview, you see, that's how far back from the corner it goes for the fillet to stop. And then in this, this area in between is all going to be just kind of blended. Now. You see, if we make it too big, these two are going to come together. And you see up here the length is 60. So if I come up here and type in anything bigger than 30, this is going to fail for sure. But how far lower than 20 can I go? Let's go back to 19, 18, 17 and do a preview. Ooh, look, this corner is starting to get pretty sharp here. Pretty soon, because of this particular geometry, this corner is probably going to fail first. Let's come back to 16, 15, and do a preview. Oh, wow, it's all, as soon as I got much smaller than 15, this blend would fail. So let's take this back up to 20 and say Enter. And there we go. There's our blend option. And uh, I'm also going to double click this again. And we'll take a look at corner 4. See, it says corner 4 here and corner 3 here. At corner four, I'm going to right click on it and say remove. And say OK. And so now I have a blend on one and not on the other. And that brings us to the end of this exercise.